Surrender! The Black Panther was dropping from the sky behind him on the back of a flying mechanical contraption. The knight shook his head. In the confusion of his attack on the jet, he had not paid attention to the Panther's vehicle. Just like a heathen to use a man-made creation instead of one of God's wonders, like Valinor. Bring your worst, varlet! The knight unsheathed his ebony blade threateningly, aiming it at the approaching man. Valinor pushed the knight higher in the air toward his enemy. The panther pulled out of his dive. He sounded amused as he toggled a switch on his handlebars. Did you just call me a varlet? The black knight ignored the taunt and leaned forward, pushing Valinor down under the missile. At the last second, he reached up and sliced it in two with the ebony blade as it soared over his head. The Black Knight looked up at T'Challa in triumph, brandishing his sword. See the speed and power my god provides me! <laughs> the Black Panther hovered in place for a moment, seemingly contemplating the knight's words. I see metal armor, a genetically modified horse, and an enchanted sword, none of which seem particularly holy to me. The Panther pressed another button on his control panel. The sky bike lurched down as if the power had been cut. Then the panther swept back up in an arc behind the Black Knight, quicker than the man or the flying horse could react. A grappling hook shot out from the belly of the inverted sky bike, snaking across the sky toward the knight. Before he could get his sword around, a magnetic clamp at the end of the grappling hook had latched onto his armor. The panther took off in a climb, unceremoniously jerking the Black Knight out of his saddle and leaving a confused Valinor flapping aimlessly behind him. <laughs> The knight, buffeted by the wind, tried to swing around and use his sword to cut the cable, but T'Challa kept weaving his sky bike to keep him off balance. I wouldn't do that if I were you. T'Challa shot higher and higher in the air. Unless you're willing to bet that your armor will help you survive a headlong crash into the ground from a couple hundred meters in the air. <laughs> T'Challa drove faster and faster, circling around, whipping the black knight back and forth at the end of the cable. A few minutes ago, you said God was on your side. Now that you're losing, God has abandoned you? Blasphemer! It was just a philosophical question. T'Challa dove toward the Great Mound. And something else has been bothering me. You Christians like saying that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Seems like my weapons are doing pretty well, won't you say? That's... that's not what that means! Just wondering. Just ahead, the Black Panther could make out the knight's flying horse, still circling where they had left him, awaiting his master's command. T'Challa aimed his bike toward the horse, flipping the knight around so he could briefly see his faithful steed. Immediately, the panther swung the knight around again and put his bike in a power dive toward the winged horse. Well, this conversation has been interesting, but I have other things I must do before nightfall. Now drop your sword or I'll blow your horse out of the sky. You... you wouldn't! I wouldn't. You and your friends have cost me at least one life this day. A pilot of some great promise. That's not counting the men and women out in the field defending Wakanda from your friend Mbutu and the dead inside the Great Mound. All of that blood is on your hands. Balanced against that, the life of one freakish horse means nothing to me. Fight. Autonomous mode. T'Challa drew near Valinor. Confirmed, Your Majesty. Kimoyo controls activated. Target organic anomaly 20 meters ahead. Prepare missile spread. Heat seekers and sunburst. Confirm when set. Targeting organic anomaly. Countdown to positive target locked in 20, 19, 18, 